Great, welcome back to another day of crafts. And today we're gonna focus specifically on painting and painting with water paint. So that's gonna be easy. We're just gonna enjoy it, enjoy the flow because it will be flowing, the water paint. So, but before we go on, I just wanna remind you that before Friday, you need to take a picture of the project that you made for this week's competition, load it onto any of our social media platforms, Tag us, Act Christian Church, and you can, in that way, win some data. So make sure to take some pictures and share your project. So today, I have Aidy here with me. Aidy, thank you for joining us. No problem. Ah, some of you may know her as Adrielle. Some of you know her as Aidy. She's going to help us with water paint. So we're going to get going. If you guys are ready, I'm going to quickly show you just where we're heading. So we're going to make a water paint picture of Africa. Isn't that just beautiful? Okay, so we're gonna make, make that. And while we make that, I want us to, to also go into a mode of really just praying, praying for our country, praying for our continent, and also praying for the world. That's what we need to do as, um, even as kids, we're gonna pray. All right, so what we do, our first step is you're gonna get a piece of paper, you're gonna get your water paint palette, for those of you that have a water paint palette. This is a nice small one. And you're also gonna need a cup of water and a little tissue if it gets too much, the water. And preferably, if you can, use a thin brush. All right, so that's what you need. Uh, we are using water, uh, water paint paper. And the reason why we are using that is it's just for the water not to wrinkle up the paper. So if you have water paint, use that. If you don't have, take normal paper and maybe glue a few of them on top of one another so that you can keep the water paint together. All right, Adi, shall we start? Are you ready for it? So we're gonna take water and we're gonna first, just with water, form the shape of Africa. Now you can't really see much of the water. If you can't, then just take a little bit of yellow paint, just a little bit, and um, just for yourself to see the outline. There we go, that looks really good. There we have South Africa. Woohoo! So we've got South Africa going. And then we're going north again. Nice water paint. Now, what you will realize is some of us have a different view and shape of Africa, but that's all right. We will get the, the idea. Now, after you made a little bit of an outline, you're gonna fill it with water in the middle. So you can put a whole lot of water in there in the middle. Um, just make sure that it doesn't go over the outline. You can take more water, AD, so we can have a whole lot of water. Just don't use the cup. <laughs> <laughs> Keep on using your, your paintbrush. So you can dab more water. There you go. And more water. There's a reason why we, they call it water paint, because water is our main ingredient for this painting. Looking good, Africa's looking good. So don't be shy with the water. Make sure that, um, that you have enough water going, because we need the water to make the different colors just fade in with one another and, um, and to create that effect. You can even put some more water, just splat a hole. Yeah, just do that, go everywhere. Just, that's nice. Well done, AD. That looks good. Put a little bit there on South Africa. There we go, that looks good. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, in between we will still use some more water. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna use the different colors. Now what I, I want us to focus a little bit on the meaning of the colors as we go along, as we pray, 
okay? Because as I, as we were doing this project and just preparing this project, I had the scripture verse, John 3 verse 16, just running through my head. And it says, For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Everlasting life. Yes, so as we pray, we're going to pray for our world. We're going to pray that they will not, we will not perish, but we will have everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Yes, so we're going to take the first color. We're going to take a bit of red. Okay, so dunk a little bit of water. Make sure you have enough water. Take enough of the red and then just put it wherever you want. And red, oh, this looks almost pink, but it is red, believe us. Red is a color that shows us um, the love of God, that shows us the love of God. So whenever we paint red, you're just going to put it just at different places. And we're just praying, Lord, that, that our country will experience your love during this time. Then let's go on. We're going to take blue. Some of us love blue. And blue is a color that makes us think of the Holy Spirit. That's a color that reminds us of the Holy Spirit. So we're just praying in this time that the Holy Spirit will come and, and invade, come and invade and fill homes in our country and in our continent and in the world. Nice. Alrighty. Do you like that so far? Do you like the mix of blue and... Yeah, it looks really hmm, nice. It looks nice. Okay, we're going to use some yellow. Now, some of you would think immediately if you want to comment below and tell us what do you think is the meaning or what does yellow mean to you we're going to use yellow and we're going to pray for the joy of the lord to continue in everybody's hearts that we will know that god has still got joy in his heart over us and that joy will be even overflowing into our hearts so you can add some yellow there and lord as we make this we are praying that over our continent that your joy will be over us. That'll be our strength in this time. And we honor you for that. Awesome. Liking that. All right, we're going to go over and use a bit of orange. Hmm, a nice fiery color. You can also let us know what you think. Comment below, what does orange mean to you? Orange means fire, the fire of God, but it also means passionate praise. And let's not just wait for Sunday services where we can praise the Lord. We can, in our homes, right there where you are, you can go, Woohoo! Lord, I praise you. Just passionately praise Him with all your heart. Okay, so when we, when we put the orange, we're going to say, Lord, may this continent passionately praise you. Oh, huh, Adi, that is looking really good. Guys, wow, wow, I'm liking this. Let's just add a little bit, just one more color. Let's add a little bit of green there. Now green speaks of life and growth. And in, in this time, we're gonna pray also for life over our country. We're gonna pray for growth as we spend time with our families, our family, the love that we have for one another, let it grow. The love that we have for the Lord may it grow inside of us. Hmm. Do you think you can do this all day? Yes. It's quite fun, hey? It is. Yeah, it's so relaxing. All right, so we're going to just leave it there for today. You, you have our, our final project here that you can also look at. But I think, wow, Adi, you have done such a great job. Thank you so much for joining me here today. So we want to remind you guys, go sit as you make this painting, as you work with the watercolors, just pray. Just continue to pray and pray for our country. All right. And then tomorrow morning, we will see you again, 10 a.m. Catch us live. Share your pictures. Tag us. We want to see you. And then if you want to be a little bit more prepared for tomorrow, we have a few materials that you can get ready. You can have half a cup of glue, uh, shaving foam. Hmm. Just ask your dad before you take it. And foam, uh, soap. You can have soap. Food coloring. I'm sure all of you know by now we love food coloring on this craft show. And then lotion, a little bit of lotion. Um, borax. That is something that not all of you might have. So just ask your mom and dad if there's still time to drop by by the shop 
Dischem or any pharmacy, you can get Borax. Even Pecan Pie has Borax, I saw the other day. And a cup of hot water. And there you go. You have a few things ready for tomorrow's craft. So we'll see you. Till next time, bye. Bye. <laughs>